Hey guys, what's going on? I thought I'd make a video. It's a cold November Saturday morning here in uh, Northwest Arkansas. Well, cold for the area, but it is November and maybe it's like 40 degrees or something like that. Not really that cold. So this northern boy can handle it. Um, I'm out here working on stuff. Got the Buick in here, just like to keep this car under cover. Because uh, being a two-door hardtop, it really doesn't have the best uh, gaps and stuff. See a lot of daylight through there. So, it's not very waterproof, so I like to keep it under cover. But this is the one I'm actually kind of working on right now. Not gonna work on it today. I got too many other things I need to do around the house and property, but uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. I got the interior all taken apart, and I uh, started cleaning on the floor. I painted this floor a couple times. You can see it used to be white, and then I painted it yellow. But what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to do it the right way. I'm going to clean this up, take all the loose paint off. And that's like that because I had a, um, a bottle of brake fluid behind the seat that spilled and took that paint off. But I'm going to clean this up really good and then I'm probably going to primer it really good and just paint it like a bed liner or something or some kind of heavy duty dark paint and then what I'm gonna do is put sound deadening like Dynomat or something in here probably a cheaper uh, knockoff brand and just insulate it back here too and put a carpet in there olive green carpet which would have been the original well it had a mat but I can't even find like a mat a molded mat for these trucks for some reason if anybody knows a good brand that sells those let me know because I would prefer to have the mat over a carpet but I uh, can't seem to find one so I'm gonna go the carpet route and get the olive green uh, carpet that fits in here and then do the sill plates I need to put new weather stripping in this side it was all coming off because I used the wrong kind of glue the other side's good and I'm just kind of kind of refresh this thing it's been a long time since I've really done anything to this truck and every time I work on this truck it's very nostalgic it bring, brings back memories because I've had this truck 10 years and I've taken it apart so many times done so many paint jobs and stuff actually a couple weeks ago I didn't make a video of it. I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, but I got this all sanded down smooth because this was a horrible paint job I did that had so much orange peel and runs in it. And I sanded it all smooth and I clear coated it and it looks so much better. It's kind of it's kind of like a fake patina, but it looks it looks almost real. I like it. You can even see some of the original uh ochre color or however you say that color coming through here so this is probably the way it'll stay for a while i always say that and i end up doing something else it's been painted a dozen times but uh yeah that orange peel and the runs and all that that bothered me for years i never did anything about it so now, at least it's smooth now but yeah, that's just like the original color, and then I painted it yellow, and a couple times yellow, and that, that white is a primer I did on it. It was all yellow at one point, that's what this is. I did have it all yellow, and then I had the black, or the top black at one point. But yeah, that's all from me, which is kind of funny. But uh yeah I like this old truck but I'm just refreshing the interior and 
I want to make it a little more comfortable. I did back a few months ago. I ran, I built a full exhaust for it because I had it dumped before the axle for years, and the drone was pretty bad. So I brought it all the way back down here, back out here, and it got rid of a lot of the drone. I like loud, but the drone is kind of annoying sometimes. It's still loud, but there's not so much drone in the cab anymore. I can actually talk to my girlfriend and carry on a conversation without having to yell over the drone. Uh, this tunnel here has been modified over the years, and it's just an absolute mess. You can see where I patched up the... Uh, original four speed hole very poorly and left a huge gap right here and then i cut this hole in here because i had a turbo 400 floor shifter and then i got rid of that and i got a column with the shifter i found in a junkyard that whole column out of a motorhome i got that for like 30 bucks back when i was living in new york we had a, a junkyard that was really sketchy but we got really good deals at it and I bought a lot of parts from this truck when I was doing the swap out of there and it helped me to do it really cheap. Um, but yeah, this is an absolute mess. I'm going to basically start over. I'm cutting this entire thing out, the whole top half of it off. And I'm going to weld a just a, a flat sheet of steel over that and lower it basically because I've got a Turbo 400 in it right now. And I'm just going to lower that hump. There's no need for it to be so high. And that'll give so much more leg room because you can only carry two passengers in here anyway. And it'll just be a nice, more of a flat floor. I'd like to find a, a seat to swap out. Um, there's a guy up in Missouri that reupholsters these seats. And they're a pretty good price. And basically it just takes your, your uh, seat back as a core and I'm thinking about going that route. This thing is a mess, but I really want this color. So maybe I'll see if he can redo this one. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, that's this project. So it's coming along slowly. It's one of those things. It's, I really like to put heat and AC in this truck too, and right now it doesn't have heat and I'm not really driving it, so it's a good time to work on it. And the square body is what I'm kind of daily driving right now. Over there. It's been a good truck. It's the the 5.3 that's in that thing is pretty wore out though. And uh it's it's pretty wore out. It's probably got about 300,000 miles on it now. It had like 280,000 when I put it in that truck. So it's getting a little wore out, starting to burn quite a bit of oil. But it goes down the road pretty good. But I just washed that thing yesterday because I'm going to throw some clear coat on it. And this is all I use. It's a new, kind of a new thing that rust -Oleum came out with. Um got that fancy spray nozzle on it it works really really good uh, that's what I used on the 57 and it turned out really good I don't know how long it's gonna last before it starts uh, falling apart deteriorating but from my experience with uh, the rust-oleum clear coat it really holds up for a while I did this a couple years ago and it's held up really good through a couple Arkansas summers Still got some shine on it too. So, but I'm not sponsored by them. So, I'm just saying that everything I mention is just what I do. Maybe help somebody out. Um, they got all that fancy shine juice out there now. Vice Grip Garage has got his own thing. And then you got Poppy's Patina. I haven't tried any of that yet, but I'd like to one of these days but I just like to I like to grab stuff that you can get right at Home Depot sometimes and I don't like ordering things sometimes and waiting for it to come I, uh, I'm very random with when I do things sometimes just the same day I'm like oh I want to do this and I go get the materials and do it so it's kind of random but 
right now I'm going to throw some clear on that, that that thing and it should kind of make it pop a little more and maybe protect the paint that's on there, what's left of it. I'm thinking about putting the uh, camper shell or the the cap back on it too for the, the winter. Kind of be nice to uh, throw some groceries in the back. Not a whole lot of cab space in these things. But then again, the cap gets in the way for a lot of things, so I may not do that. I already went over this with some fine steel wool. Made it smooth. Now normally I would mask off the window, but I'll just try to avoid spraying it. This is not something I would show on YouTube years ago, but today I literally don't care. I just do things my way. Whatever works for me. All right, there it is. It looks a whole lot better. It's got some nice shine to it. You can see the dents more though. <laughs> dents are definitely more obvious but that's all right I want to show you guys something cool that I found at a flea market store it's a Corvette emblem here I'm gonna put that on the front fender of the 57 I'll find another one to put on the other side it's cool all right, it's been a little bit since the last video clip, a couple weeks actually. Been busy again, big surprise, right? But uh, I'm working on the uh, Tyrex here. I gotta wire up a fan and then this thing will be done. And uh, again, um, I've done a lot of work on this thing. Uh, rebuilt the whole engine. Some of you might have watched those videos, but man what a project it was just put a new battery in it and put a muffler on it it's a whole lot quieter now um, so that'll be nice and I had a switch on there for the fan but it wasn't a, a weatherproof switch so it went bad water got in it so I got this one that hopefully will hold up a little bit longer and uh, I gotta take this uh, battery core back and get some 10 bucks for that, you know. Every dollar counts these days. Crazy how much things cost. It's getting, uh, getting expensive to, to do anything now. But So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to I'm anxious to get this thing done and out of here. And uh, get back on this when I get time. I need to cut down that tunnel. I already talked about that in a previous video clip, but... Got to get rolling on that, get that out of here, um, get the carpet done on that. Might be all I'm going to do on that for now. Not really sure yet, but uh, I, I really need to... The next on the list is the Buick, the 56. I need to get that in here and start tearing apart the rear end and redo it. Redo the four-link setup because it's really cobbled together. I, I put that together in a big hurry with uh, a bunch of scrap metal and it's really not the best setup so we'll see we'll see what happens hey guys it is Christmas Eve and once again it's been a long while since I've taken a video it's been weeks this this video is probably taking over the longest duration of time out of all the videos on my channel uh, kind of ridiculous I've just been really busy like YouTube hasn't been my priority by any means so um, let me update you on what's going on here I just wrapped up my transmission tunnel uh, cut off that part of it there and have this old Ford van door hacked out some pieces and welded them in here and made it 
nice and flat. So now I have a nice flat floor pretty much. A little more leg room and it's gonna be it's gonna be really nice. So I just gotta clean this up, throw some paint on it, and eventually I'll be getting some dyno mat or some cheap knockoff brand to insulate the floor and put the carpet in. It's been it's been a long time. I'm glad I'm finally putting some work into this truck. This is something I wanted to do for a long time ever since I LS swapped it. Because uh, there's tons of room and there's no need for that high hump in the middle uh, with that Turbo 400. So I'm glad to be getting this done. <clears throat> so, yeah. Thankfully I just got my bottle swapped out. Uh, tractor supply was open today. And... Uh, yeah, I realized I was uh, out of welding gas early this morning before I went to church and grabbed my bottle and, and brought it in after church and swapped it out. So I was able to do this project, which is super rare because I always end up running out of gas right in the middle of a project on a day that uh, tractor supplies closed or you know late enough where it's not open anymore so glad to have this done big step in the right direction I need to get this truck wrapped up and out of here so that I can bring the Buick in here the Buick needs a bunch of work the 56 I need to get that in here and park it in kind of this way with the front facing there and get the back jacked up take the rear end out of it and do a whole lot of cutting and grinding and grind and cut off all of the suspension stuff in the back and completely redo it and put a nice four link in it and get rid of the janky stuff I put in there about three years ago I was in a huge hurry to get that thing done and get it because I was moving and selling my house and I was on a on quite a time crunch to get it done and I cut a lot of corners and uh, the rear suspension on that thing is just not the best. So I'm going to redo it and make it really nice. And hopefully get it done in time for summer and cruising. And I've actually been able to drive the car the last couple days because it's been uh, really nice out. So that's awesome. Alright, well I have completed the uh, transmission tunnel. I primed and painted it on both sides, kind of keep it from rusting, and just went with a flat black on it. Can't really go wrong with that. So, pretty happy with how it turned out. Really gained a whole lot of room. With these old trucks, any little bit of room you can get goes a long way. Cabs are really small, so this is going to be a whole lot more leg room for uh, the middle seat, and it's just going to be it's going to be nice. So. I'm going to put that in there and kind of seal around it as well. You can see where I had sealed it before. Um, but yeah, my plan is to... I'm going to get the cup holders that go in the ashtray. Don't need an ashtray. And I was going to paint all this black but I'm not gonna bother because it's gonna be covered anyway and it's got a bunch of layers of paint as it is uh, I'm gonna put that um, sound deadening, deadening material down and then put a carpet in and some of you original people that have been watching my channel for a long time since the beginning probably remember when I did all the work to this cab that was rusted out Man, that was way back. Well, you old, older guys are going to laugh at me, me, but that was way, way back in 2013, 2014. I was working on the rust repair on this cab nearly 10 years ago. Crazy. Uh, well, yeah, just about 10 years ago now. I think I did most of the work in 2014, summer of 2014, but... Uh, yeah, not the best. I was, I was 15, 16 when I was working on this. And, uh, you can see where I did the work. But, you know, it was a really good learning experience. I did the rocker panels and, you know, this gap here is not right at all. Uh, nothing's right on it. 
had to do the cab corners um, a lot of stuff a lot of stuff it's even worse underneath um, you can see right there where I welded the new um, uh, what do you call that cab support thing whatever and over there you can kind of see the bottom of where I welded everything it's just kind of rough but it works I'm not really that picky and I probably wouldn't have even fixed it nowadays well I, I would have but I wouldn't have done it the way I did I would have probably um, not fixed it and threw stop signs down or uh, just put a whole new floor pan in it I don't know either one extreme or the other <laughs> but it was really it was it was pretty rough but it works the door shut really nice So, yep, it's good to be getting some work done on this truck. It's been a long time, but I really need to get this thing out of here and work on the Buick and redo the rear end. Maybe I'll do some videos on that. And I also need to fix the uh, um, coolant leak as well, which is something that uh, keeps keeps leaking. It's a uh, thermostat housing I've fixed it like three times and it always seems to pop, spring a leak anyways